What if I told you that dying might become optional? Not completely, you can still get hit by a bus, but what if the slow decline we call aging could be paused, reversed, treated like the flu? I know, it sounds like a scam email from a biohacker prince, but stick with me because two new technologies are about to make death really awkward at dinner parties. Let's talk about how you're actually going to die. It's probably not going to be an epic battle with a dragon. Most likely, your cells are just going to give up. Think of your body as a city. When a building catches fire, say a heart attack or stroke, the fire spreads. The initial damage is bad, but the real killer is the cascade of cell death that follows. It's like the fire department shows up and says, might as well let the whole block burn. Even if you survive, you're left with a burned out husk of an organ. Fun times. Enter Link 001, an anti-necrotic drug. When your cells are under attack, heart attack, stroke, this anti-necrotic drug steps in and says, not on my watch. It literally stops your cells from rage quitting life. Here's why this is huge. Imagine having a heart attack. Paramedics inject you with Link 001. By the time you reach the hospital, the damage is contained. Your heart isn't ruined. You walk out a week later. Or organ transplants. Right now, organs have the shelf life of sushi. Link 001 could keep them fresh for days, saving countless lives. And the best part? It's a simple drug. Cheap to make, easy to distribute. No fancy genetic engineering. It's the medical equivalent of duct tape. Within a decade, this could be in every ER, saving your organs, which is nice. So, Link 001 is the firefighter. But what if you could renovate the whole city? Meet senescence resistant cells, or SRCs, genetically modified stem cells that are immune to aging. They're the Keanu Reeves of cells. Scientists take your own stem cells, tweak them to resist the garbage that makes them old, and inject them back. They go to work like a renovation crew on steroids, repairing your lungs, boosting your immune system, sharpening your brain. Basically, they control Z your body. In primate studies, these cells didn't just stop aging, they reversed it. Monkeys got smarter, stronger, and younger looking. The catch? This is sell your kidney expensive. It's also complex, and regulators will be cautious about injecting people with genetically modified supercells. But if this works at scale, we're not just talking about living longer, we're talking about living better. Imagine being 80 and still crushing it at pickleball. So, which technology is the bigger deal? Short term, Link 001 wins, hands down. It's the firefighters saving lives today. Within a decade, it could be standard in every ER, saving hundreds of thousands of lives annually. Long term, SRCs are the game changer. If they become affordable and safe, they don't just save lives, they redefine what it means to be human. A world where old age is a treatable condition. But here's the beautiful part. We don't have to choose. You have a stroke, Link 001 stops the damage. Then SRCs rebuild your brain. It's having the best firefighters and the best architects. Death isn't going away, but it's about to get a lot more negotiable. So, will these technologies make you immortal? No, but they will make you less mortal. The end of your life is being redefined right now. Not by philosophy or religion, but by scientists who looked at death and said, yeah, we can probably fix that. And honestly, I'm here for it. Because if I'm going to live to 150, I want to do it with all my organs intact and the energy to enjoy it. The future is coming. The only question is how long you'll be around to see it.